This is problem 8-11 from the H8-1 homework worksheet from day one. It says solve the following system. We have y equals the x squared minus five and y equals x plus one. So we've got a parabola and we have a line. Okay, so x squared minus five and x plus one. If we just give ourselves a moment here to think about it. I don't know, I just drew a circle, that's silly. Um, let me erase that. If we think about a, a parabola, if we have a coordinate plane and we've got a parabola that has been shifted down five units, and then we have a line where its y-intercept is one, it's got a slope of one. It looks like this equation or system of equations, right, would end up giving us two intersection points. So when we solve this, we need to think about it in that respect. So here we go. Let's take it and let's use some substitution. If I know that y equals x squared minus 5 and y equals x plus 1, then I can set my x plus 1 equal to my x squared minus 5, and we can look to solve it. So since I have an x squared and an x, let's just go ahead and move everything over to the same side. So I'm going to have x squared minus x minus 6. We'll factor that. Right, so we're going to have an x minus 3 and an x plus 2. And in the end, we get x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. Let's find our y's by plugging it in. Let's say y is going to equal 3 plus 1, which is 4. And y is going to equal negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. So our two solutions we should end up with are the point 3, 4, and the point negative 2, negative 1. Okay, so you can always take them, plug them back into the equations to double check, right? I have y is equal to x squared minus 5. So if I plug those in, I'm going to have 4 equals 3 squared minus 5. And 9 minus 5 equals 4. And then I'll do the same equation. I'll use negative 1 is equal to negative 2 squared minus 5. That would be a 4 minus 5 equals negative 1, and again, we know it's correct. So that's problem 8-11 from worksheet H8-1.